Hey guys, it's Britt, and I wanted to film a video. Hold on, let me. There we go. I wanted to film a video comparing uh, a standard Kindle e ink reader and the Kindle Fire. Now, since I have both, I can make this comparison. But uh, as a disclaimer, I only have the Kindle keyboard as an e the standard e ink reader and unfortunately Amazon no longer makes this. I'm sure you could track it down, but it would probably be really overpriced for what it is, but they do make one that is similar just without the keyboard. Uh, so I'm going to break down the pros and the cons of each of them, and then I will tell you which one I find myself reaching for more. So uh, I'll start with the Kindle Fire. Now this is really, really nice if you like having all of your, your stuff in one device. This is really nice because, because it has all your stuff in one place. Now, you can listen to audiobooks on the Kindle keyboard, but like I said, they don't make that anymore, and the one that they do make, as far as I know, doesn't have a, a speaker, so I don't know if you can listen to audiobooks. So this keeps your ebooks and your audiobooks and your music all in one place. So if you don't like Apple and don't want to pay for an iPad, this is a great alternative, especially if you have Amazon Prime, because you can get a lot of free music on Amazon if you have Prime. I think I have all of Lily Allen's albums just right here on Amazon. And if you guys have followed me for a while, you guys know that I, I really love the Allen family. Uh, Lily and Alfie Allen, I, I would marry both of them in a heartbeat. Also, it's really convenient to have Overdrive on here because Overdrive is compatible with the Kindle keyboard, but it's just so much easier to go like this and open up the app and then you have it right there. So, yes, I like that for convenience. And I like Audible, even though Audible and I are kind of in a fight right now because of how they let me down with The Beach, narrated by Alfie Allen. But anyway, e-ink is a little bit different. Now, the, the standard keyboard, the standard Kindle that they're going to sell you also does not have a backlight. Now, you can get the paper white that has a, a backlight in it already, but I, um, I, you can just buy a, a book light and clip it onto something, get one with those gooseneck uh, reading lights that you usually clip onto books, and just use that, that's what I did. That's what I did in college when I didn't have a light source. And I just, I really, really like this. I find myself reaching for this one a lot more because the screen is illuminated differently. And I find that for with this one, it's a lot more like reading a book on a page in with like in regards to eye strain i find that if i am reading for a, uh, over a half hour 
I find that my eyes get very tired very quickly and I just want to stop reading. But with this one, I'm not finding that I have that issue, at least not as much as I do with my fire. Now keep in mind, I do go to school online, so I am staring at a screen all day, so my eyes get tired very, very quickly. But when I do go on trips, I find myself grabbing this one more just because I like to have Audible. I like listening to audiobooks while I'm in the car or when I'm avoiding talking to relatives because uh, they leave me alone if they see my headphones are in. But I do like this one. I really, really do. So if I could go back in time and stop myself from purchasing the Kindle Fire, I probably would have because I bought this because I couldn't find my Kindle keyboard. It was shoved in a drawer in my brother's room upstairs and this was on sale at the time for $35. So I got this because I knew I was going to be reading a lot of ebooks because I was I was joining booktube. I knew I was going to join booktube. So I knew I was going to be purchasing a lot of books and I just didn't have enough room on my shelf for for books. So and another thing is I I have trouble holding physical books sometimes, especially now in the winter when it's cold and my joints are stiff. I just, I find myself preferring the e-reader over a physical book just be for the sake of my own needs. Yeah, uh, but I don't know if I could go back in time and say, hey Brit, uh, your e-ink reader is upstairs. You don't need that. I would stop my, I would not purchase this. But seeing that I have it, I'm happy that I have it so I can keep all my audiobooks, my ebooks, and my music all in one place. I really really like it uh, in that respect but this one is heavier than the e-ink reader and I don't know I just I really only use the Kindle app the Audible app and the Goodreads app on here so if you want something like that with a bunch of bells and whistles and you don't have to buy anything extra, go with this. Because it is slightly cheaper than the, uh, the, the standard e-ink reader. But if you have eye strain and migraines, this is difficult to read on for extended periods of time. But that's my thoughts. So I want you guys to figure it out for yourselves. I will link some, uh, I'm going to link stuff down below so you guys can read reviews and maybe if you are interested in buying something like a Kindle, you can read those reviews thoroughly and figure it out for yourself. Also, this is really good for graphic novels, which was another reason why I wanted to buy this, because I, I do like graphic novels. So it's really nice because it's in full color, while this is only in black and white. So yeah, long story short, for me, it's a nice purchase. But if I 
could go back in time and not purchase it, I would. I wouldn't. So, yeah. So for me, standard e-ink wins. But, like I said, make your own judgments. And until next time, guys, I love you, and I'll see you in the next video.